Hi class, Steve Katie here. We have an awesome discussion board that will really help you on some key areas as you continue to look towards and strive towards and pursue your dream job and your ideal organization. And uh, I'm going to walk you through, give you some general instruction, some tips and some things like that so that you can do this discussion board uh, in the most time efficient and best way that also facilitates your learning and gives you some really good value for um, for what you're putting into it. And uh, as I've always said and said all along the way, these questions are all intended to help prepare you for what you are striving for. And um, I'll start here with the front end when I say watch this video. Those of you that are watching it and not jumping in right away, but taking some time to watch this video, it helps you to save time for things to be more efficient. So listen further as I go through everything here. The other thing is the, the right below, you can see the, you know, review the questions below and complete the module, a tip, be sure to bold the key terms. I think that's, that's important for every single question and response you give. You want to bold key terms that you're pulling or drawing from and the content from the chapters and other resources that are provided. And with that, you come in and you start with the introduction. And as I mentioned, this is a, a uh, signature introduction, your signature, like in any good uh, sport or any uh, professional pursuit, people have their signature. They have their signature move. They have their signature line. They have their signature way of doing things. And the introduction should be your signature that is creative, that represents the best of you, and um, really invites people in to the rest of the uh, questions that you're answering and, and, and is, has a hook and is compelling, as well as telling them what you're about to tell them. So it's more than just telling them what you're gonna tell them, it's hooking them, bringing them in, and then, and then doing that. So then we move into the first behavioral interview question. Here is your question, and it's drawing from the Human Resource Management module, and that is describe a situation where you led, managed, coached, or mentored another person to achieve success. And this is focusing on these skills for developing uh, human potential, developing talent in an organization. Human Resource Management training and development really focuses on this concept of talent development, and uh, this question is getting at how good you are at that. Uh, you can learn more here. And I also added another one that you might find helpful, uh, thebiginterview.com. And it's a really nice uh, blog that can give you some more tools for your toolbox in terms of having a competitive advantage for answering interview questions. Now we move into the next, and this is an interesting twist on things. You're going to see question two is focused on DEC module. Question three focuses on the HUM module. Here is the unique twist. The DEC module is the right way. So what I want you to do is walk through and answer these questions using the manager's action research process. And you come in and you give your best answer to this one. On the human resource one, you give your best wrong way of doing it. So it's not your best answer. Both should be your best answer, but for this first one, you want to describe the right way to do this and, and uh, you apply everything appropriately, uh, the terms, the key tools, and, and, and so forth from the resources uh, in the chapter for the decision-making module. And you apply them appropriately. Then you come down here to the human resource management module and you pick two of the four. So there's four challenges here. You can pick any two of these and you apply the action re manager's action research process to solving this particular or completing this mission here, completing this mission. You've got to scan it first, pick any two, and then you debrief by scanning, evaluating, and discussing transfer. I'll walk you through this. The key here for the human resource one is to use the terms in the wrong way. So you have to creatively show it's like opposite day. It's using the term in the opposite way or in the wrong way and, and showing that you know it by applying it in the wrong way. That's the, that's the creative challenge for you. And um, 
So have fun with this. Again, pick two. And uh, I love seeing what, to, what students come up with on that. Some students are incredibly creative and really demonstrate their knowledge of the concepts by describing how to do it the right way with DEC and how to do it the wrong way with HUM module, the human resource module. Now let's go into how to answer these questions. And I wanna emphasize a few key things that you've already learned and been learning as you've been going. First things first, um, uh, you can see examples when you look at how to, and how to address the GROW, the Groups and Teams module, that uh, is, should be down here, should have, there you go. From the previous Groups and Teams module, you can see how to answer uh, the, you, the, how to apply the manager's action research process by watching that video. But let me go through here um, and talk about a few things. First thing is, is you get episode one. And so when you go over to the DEC module, when you click on modules, go to DEC, you're gonna see the opening uh, introductory material for the chapter. And right below that, you're gonna see episode one. Uh, and in that episode one, what you wanna do is you want to watch the video or read the script. And you wanna do that and scan the situation, pull out the, the most important salient elements of that, intro, that uh, episode one. And what you wanna do is describe who, what, when, and where, and give us the kind of a, a summary sense of what is happening, who's involved, and what's going on. Then I want you to move right into saying, okay, based on what's, what we have, the who, what, when, where, and the situation, this is my mission for this situation at IDC West in the decision-making uh, module. So this is my mission, what I need to accomplish, for this situation. And then go into the introductory chapter at the very top, you'll see where it says, here's the principle. And so when you go into the principle, and let me see if I can find this here for you. I'm gonna pull up this and show you um, briefly how to do that. For those of you that might still be wondering, I'm gonna bring that up, come in here. I'm coming in here, I'm gonna bring, oop, I don't wanna do that. I'm just, Bringing this down, bringing this in here into this box here for you. So it's just going to be a little, little difficult, but I think it should be okay. So as I come up here, I click on the modules, and then you scroll down to the DEC, and you see the chapter principle framework. Well, you can right click on that, open the link in a new tab. And then you click in here and you're in the chapter and you can see the principle statement right here. So that principle statement, organizations are defined by the decisions made individually and collectively. So as you look here and scanning the situation for episode one, you wanna state what's the mission, what are you trying to solve? That's from very practical, in IDC West, I must figure this out. We must solve this problem. We've got to get this fixed or whatever it might be, but we've got, we've got to get from here to there and that's our mission. And then the next thing is, is what's the principle statement for the chapter? So then you just basically go to the introduction like I showed you, you pull that principle statement and restate it. And then what you do is relate the mission to the principle statement. And what you want to do is say, how is the mission for uh, the, this situation, IDC West, the overarching mission, how does the principle statement relate to it? Or how does the mission relate to the principle? How are they connected? And why is understanding the principle important to completing that mission? And so that's what you answer as you come into this. Then you go into competency A and competency B, and you click on that. And so when you go into that, let me show you here. So you come back here and you scroll down, you got competency A. You click here to read the chapter and take your practice quiz, as we've talked about. And then you come down here into the situation and you can watch the video, watch the video or read the script. And what you're gonna see here is you got a unique specific challenge that must be completed in order to solve the challenge, you gotta, you gotta solve this challenge in order to complete the mission. But basically, in order to complete the mission, you gotta solve these two challenges. So you gotta 
successfully solved these two challenges, and therefore, by doing that, you have completed your mission. So what do you do? You, stay, you scan the situation, describe what the situation is for this challenge, who, what, when, where, state the challenge clearly, the challenge is, relate the challenge to the competency statement. So what is the competency statement? So as we come in here and you go into competency A, I right click here and open up that content. And what do I see at the top? The competency statement here is make robust decisions to the application of intentional processes. And so I restate that and I relate that competency statement to the challenge that, I, that I'm facing here. So you've got the specific challenge to complete. Once you stated the challenge, stated the competency, related the competency to the challenge, you then diagnose the situation. And in diagnosis, you are describing what is the cause of the problem that we're facing here. What is the root cause? So what is the surface cause and what is the underlying root cause of the problem? So think one level deeper even. Again, use the tools, terms from the chapter in this competency to answer that question and bring those terms in because they will relate and then diagnose that challenge. And then second, propose an intervention. So in the, in the um, manager's action research processes, you diagnose and you intervene, DI. Those are the first two letters, first two steps. So diagnose the challenge and propose an intervention slash a solution to solve the problem based on your diagnosis. Then you come here and make sure you defend it. Make sure you explain why this is the right intervention using information from the chapter. You do the same thing for competency B. And then after, you, after you've described how to solve these two challenges, you go down and watch episode two. So you come in and you, you go in and you go down past here to the conclusion situation and you click on episode two script or watch episode two script and you watch it and come back to episode two and you provide a brief scan or overview of the episode, what happened, again, that's who, what, when, where, and then evaluate the results. Where did you see interventions being done in the script for, in this episode too, where do you see interventions being implemented and the impact of those in terms of having a positive impact on the situation in this particular um, uh, situation we have here with IDC West and DEC. So what you do is you essentially evaluate by describing the results and connecting those results to key actions that were taken. So you say this action was taken to solve the complete the challenges or solve the problem. These actions were taken. This is the impact of those. And then the second piece here is transfer. This is important. This is the T and the D-I-E-T. And the T, I want you to talk about two key things. You want to talk about, okay, based on this, how do we, how do we continue this at IDC West? So looking at IDC, what is your recommendation for the best way for IDC and everybody involved to learn from this take the good and positive results they had, learn from it, and keep making good positive decisions as they move forward. How to make that solution, what they learn from it, stick and stay in the organization as a way to better manage, better lead, and keep things moving in a positive direction. That's one. So first part of transfer is how do you transfer the, the learning from this in IDC West? Second transfer is how do you transfer your learning from this, what you learn from going through this to your dream job and ideal organization. So if you want to work in Google and you want to be a uh, work in the area of uh, as a software engineer and you have in Google, you know, and you look at that job as software engineer in Google, what can you say about the learning from here to help you as a software engineer in Google? How do you transfer your learning to that job in that ideal organization? So that's what you do here for this. That's the right way. 
Now the wrong way is the HUM module. And what we're doing here is you look at IDC West, do the same things. You go in, find episode one, read it, scan it, state the principle, state the mission, relate the mission and the principle to each other. And why is understanding the principle important to completing the mission? Make sure you address that. And then you come down here and pick any two of these four challenges. And I do this to keep kind of managing this, the workload for you. So pick two of your favorite challenges to solve. Go through the same process. Here is the thing. What I'd like you to do is diagnose using the tools and terms opposite day, the wrong way. Propose an intervention that would be totally against what, was rec what, what all the science, the terms, the tools, and research suggests. Propose a, an intervention that, that, that suggests that this is the wrong way to do it, but do be an, use an educated, informed, wrong way and apply it to the diagnosis and do the same thing for the second one. When you come down here into episode two, what I want you to do is flip back to looking at the results. What was done in episode two that solved the problems, completed the challenge and, and uh, solved the challenges and completed the mission? What was done? Describe what they did, how it, what was the impact of what they did in episode two that had a positive impact. And then after you've done that and described that, then go to transfer, talk about how can IDC West transfer the positive learning and keep it going and keep using the same the learning in the future in IDC West. And then second part of transfer is how do you apply what you learned from this to your dream job in your ideal organization? You move from there into an important term or concept. And what I'd like you to do is pick from your two chapters, what's the most important term or concept that you really liked? Pick it and uh, provide the term, give the definition, describe why it was helpful, and, and describe how it can be helpful to you in your dream job and your ideal organization. So how can it be helpful to you? in your dream job, in your ideal organization. Then you move to an exam question. I want you to create a level three or higher exam question from Bloom's Taxonomy. Do that within the context of the term or concept in number four above. Then you make sure you do a few things. Make sure you provide the question, have your answer, identify the answer, explain the answer, and describe and, and make sure you point out where that answer can be found in the content for the chapters. Then I'd like you to six, question six here, I'd like you to evaluate your group discussion on a scale of one to 10. And uh, describe why did you score it that way? And what would you like to see more of in, in the discussion with your group? And would you, what would you like to see less of in the discussion with your group? And what would you like to see the team doing or your group doing more of? What would you like to see your group doing less of? Now we get into the last and final, and this is the thing that's gonna uh, really help you because this is your leadership interview number one. You're gonna do a leadership interview here for this discussion board post, and then you're gonna do a second leadership interview in the, in the next discussion board post, post. In the previous two discussion board posts, in one and two, uh, what you did in those is you learned about what is informational interviews, how to do them, who, and then you identified who you're going to interview and when you're going to interview them. So now you're implementing that. And so here what you have is you, uh, a few steps. You want to confirm the interview with the person. Let them know. It. Remind them it will take 30 minutes of their time to an hour. Um, remind them that you have been assigned to interview them because they're someone that you admire. Uh, then you want to develop your own interview questions, approximately three to five questions. Five to seven questions is fine. Um, uh, I think you want to have somewhere around that five. And you can find here at this link 200 example questions. And I'd pick a diverse set of questions that will really engage the person. Remember, informational interviews, 15, can lead to great job opportunities. So you want to take this and, and make the most of it. So what I'd encourage you to do is take some time to get the questions together, try them out on some friends, 
ask people that you know and and get some feedback and get get what you think are the most uh, enriching and and interesting questions that they would appreciate and you want to make sure that you have a good protocol for conducting the interview and then you conduct the interview and when you conduct it record the session take good notes and after you completed uh, after you completed the interview report on your interview by addressing the following who did you interview share the three best questions share the content of your thank you email always send a thank you email and what did you learn from the interview so address these questions there and here's some more resources for you to uh, draw upon you want to wrap up with a really nice conclusion so you've answered these seven questions and you've taken away some learning for you so you're not going to just summarize what i learned from one two three four five but in total after completing all of them how are you better off what have you learned that will help you better go after your dream job and your ideal organization how what are your takeaways from this as you step back and take a higher level abstract uh, view on the whole of what you learn from all of these questions together answering all of these questions together and so it's kind of like the moral to the story if you will and so provide that here as your conclusion and then after the due date for this discussion board the very next day and the canvas calendar provides all of this for you come back and review the post and provide reflection on five people and then have an interactive conversation with one or two people and if you do all of that follow the directions be complete by answering all the questions professional by good formatting nicely laid out and good grammar and spelling and punctuation and then you're thoughtful in terms of, of providing uh, you know a good elaboration explaining your thinking providing examples as appropriate and those kinds of things so I can really understand how you're approaching this you do those complete professional and thoughtful and then you have your minimum of 10 really good posts with your team to other people you're going to do just great on this discussion board last but not least as you know the time period for doing this is set up uh, such that you um, really have two discussion boards now brought into one I typically would have done one for the first chapter and one for the second I've combined them while it's a bit longer I think it's a it's a better use of your time to come in and do a nice job on this you've got your window of time to get this done so make sure you plan your time accordingly and uh, get the most out of this every question as I mentioned is designed to help you really really go after that dream job in your ideal organization and have that competitive advantage so I look forward to seeing some great posts and discussion bye for now